Hello, boys and girls. Okay, this is going to be your Thursday homework. So what you're gonna do for your Thursday homework is you are to read, listen for a fourth time. So by this time, it would be your fourth time. And you're going to answer questions four and five. Here is an example of what you should be doing. So right now we are just listening. So you get your highlighter. In the rainforest, some of the world's most interesting plants and animals live in tropical rainforests. These forests are near the equator in a part of the world called the tropics. The climate there is always warm. Tropical rainforests usually get rainfall every day. A rainforest has four layers. The bottom layer is called the forest floor. It is quite dark. Very little sunlight filters through the tall trees. The forest floor is also very damp. Water drips off the plants after the rain and even the air is wet. Nothing ever really dries out in this first layer. The second layer up is the understory. Many kinds of animals live in smaller trees that grow in this layer. The third layer up is the canopy. Even more animals live here. At this level are the tops of many trees, the leaves and branches of different trees linked together. The canopy is like a roof. The fourth and top layer is the forest. In the forest is the emergent layer. It includes the tops of the tallest trees. Some are more than 200 feet, 61 meters tall. These trees get the most sunlight and rain. Many plants grow only in the rainforest. These plants have developed ways to live there. Microheterotrophs are one kind of plant that lives on the forest floor. Not much sunlight reaches them. Most plants must have sunlight to make their own food. Mycoheterotrophs get food another way. Their roots draw food from the fungi and decompose dead leaves and flowers. Many rainforest flowers are high in the trees. In most rainforests, the trees flower at different times. Some flowers in the rainforest only bloom once every five years. Okay, so once again, you are going to read, listen. This would be your fourth time. Then you would be answering questions four and five, okay? What do they have in common? What are their differences? A fourth grade response is four plus sentences. You can do this. Okay, so for this number five, you are to write your response on another sheet. Okay, and the questions are, use details from the passage to support your answer. What do they have in common? And what are their differences? Okay. The second piece of homework is your grade three, oops, sorry, grade three place value worksheet. Okay, so for with th for this one, okay, they give you an example, 1,836. So if we're writing that in expanded form, it would be 1,000 plus 800 plus 30 plus six. So if I was to do this one with you, Okay, this they wrote in expanded form for you. So what they want for you to do is they want you to write it in just standard form. So take it from expanded form, which is this form right here. And you're going to you're going to make it an expanded, I'm sorry, a standard number. Okay, so if I was doing this, it would be 9,000. It's 9,000 plus 500 plus 60 plus 9. That would be... Um, 9,569, okay? So if I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do it in a, again for you, just so that way you have a, a different example. So here is my expanded form, and they want you to take it to a standard form. So what you would do is 9,000 plus 200 plus 70. Okay, you'll notice that you don't have any ones. You have your tens, your hundreds, and your thousands. So that's gonna be 9,270. 
at zero. So nine thousand two hundred seventy. Okay, so you continue to do that. Show all your work. Attach another uh, piece of scratch paper. It says if you need this right here. Okay. So what you're going to do is you are going to read. This is what we have. We have now. Number five, number six, number seven, and number eight. Okay, so what you're going to do is, it's Thursday, you should know what to do, but we're going to go ahead and go over it anyways. You're going to read this passage, okay? School children in Washington State. Sorry that I have to read it sideways, but school children in Washington State are raising salmon. The Department of Fish and Wildlife gives each participating classroom 500 salmon eggs. When the eggs hatch, the children care for the baby salmon and learn about their life cycle. When the salmon are big enough, the class goes on a field trip to release salmon into a stream or river. Okay, so what you're looking for, this is now the fourth day that you've done this, is what is the main idea of this paragraph okay and you can go ahead and put your main idea um, right here if you need a separate sheet of paper go ahead and do so but you're doing that also for number six number seven and number eight okay number six says giant pandas are losing their habitats giant pandas live in bamboo forests in china the average giant eats about 30 pounds of bamboo each day. Unfortunately, the rainforests are being cut down and the giant panda is endangered. What is the main idea of this paragraph? You would go ahead and put that right here or get out a separate sheet of paper and work on that. Okay, incense cedar wood is perfect for pencils. Unlike many other kinds of wood, it does not break easily but it is soft enough to be sharpened without splintering. It also won't bend or warp in hot temperatures. Incest cedar trees are grown in California and Oregon. What is the main idea of the paragraph? Remember what we've been talking about all week. Okay, and the last one, you can tell if an egg is hard boiled by spinning it. Lay an egg on its side and try to make it spin. If it is not hard boiled, the shifting liquid inside will make it spin poorly. If it is hard boiled, the solid inside will make it spin faster and longer. What is the main idea of the paragraph? Okay, and that concludes your homework for today. Thank you boys and girls so much for those of you that have done your homework all week. You are fabulous and we will see you on Friday.